Okay. Time for some more banished. So, last time we left off, I was very concerned about coats. Um, because I do not want people to freeze to death. I don't want them to do that. Um, and I did some research, and remember how I was saying, remember I was bitching because it's like, oh, why is my, you know, why are my hunters only gathering, or why are they only hunting ducks? And I did a little research, a very little research. I, sh I probably could have and should have done more, but what I figured out, which I should have looked into at first before I went to the Googles, is that you can actually make a coat out of reeds and feathers. Now, I don't know if I have the ability to get reeds right now, but I have a lot of feathers. Um, I think these are reeds right here. So I'm gonna see if I can harvest them and maybe that will solve my problem. Otherwise, I will need to go back and do a little research. Um, Cause yeah, I'm not getting any leather for some very weird reason. Um, Cause there's deer all around. So let's see, um, I think, I don't know if I can just harvest them outright. I know there's a, a sort of profession you can put in place to harvest these. Um, but let me see. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can just harvest these willy-nilly. Um, or maybe, nope, damn. Okay, so, resource production. Shore house? Um... I mean, even if I wanted one of these, I, I can't... Oh, well, I could build it here. But I'm not sure if this is how I get reeds. I think it is, though. Um, well, let's just build one and find out, because we're running low on coats. And I do think this is how you can get reeds. Um, let me see what some other options are. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is what I need a shore house. Okay, let's build one. Um, I only need 30 logs for that, so I have plenty of materials, and let's, so yeah, let's hit play, and increase the priority, and then let's see if we can make this happen. Oh, and I have an unemployed person. Why do I have an unemployed person? Oh yeah. Um... I can put my tailor back to work. Or no, no, no. It's um, it's the blacksmith. I can put the blacksmith, the blacksmith back to work. Um. Okay. Here we go. Let's get the shore house and see if we can survive. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, people. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, why is this taking so long? There we go. Alright, go, go, go. It's not that far of a walk. You guys can do it. I believe in you. After this, I need to start thinking about getting some more logs. There's plenty of trees around that I don't need that I should harvest. 
after I deal with this coat situation, I'm gonna build that Forester's Lodge. For sure. Okay. So, we have our shore house. Collect reeds, yes, okay, I was right. Um, now, who works here? Um, this is a shoreman, okay. So I got a shoreman working. Um, I'm gonna just collect all these, whoops. I might as well save while I'm here. And as you can see, I have on the screen my goals for this game. Um, it's on the highest difficulty. Disasters are on. I want to reach a population of at least 500. I want to be self-sustaining um, in the 15 uh, after 15 years. Um, wait, how do I want to say this? I want to be self-sustaining 15 years after the first trade post is built. Um, and I want to use only non-sustainable materials like stone for publicly used buildings. Um, so that's kind of my game goals here. Uh, okay, let's collect this, these trees. Let's collect everything from right here. I'm gonna get a road going. I'm trying to remember all of the shortcuts. Okay, F4 is roads. I think if I press two, I go to dirt road. Yes. Actually, I'll wait until this is all cleared out. Um, okay, let's see if we can, can get some coats. Um, is a crude shirt going to be enough, though? Um, man. I guess we'll find out. I just don't understand why... Again, I didn't do a ton of research, but I really do not understand why... Whoops. Why my hunters are not hunting deer at all. It's confounding. Now why the hell... There we go. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. So let's just let a little time pass and see if these crude shirts count as coats. I don't know if they do. Or rather, I, they'll count as clothes, but will they keep my citizens warm? That's the question. I also need to build a little bit of storage. Um, I think I'm gonna build... Um, I'll build a small barn. It takes more wood than I have though. I feel like I can build a cellar or something along those lines. Um, dry storage. What is this? No. Hmm. Dang, I thought there was something smaller I could... Oh well. I'll build some storage in a little while. Alright. We should be making reeds and feathers. Why does it say the materials required to perform the work are not available? Okay, but that's not true because I actually do have more stored clothes now. Okay, so that's good. I don't know why it says, yeah, I'm producing. So we're good, we're good. Okay, we're getting some trees. I'm actually going to build... So 
So let's do this. Um, I have plenty to, to build this Forester's Lodge, so let's build this. Probably build. Actually, can I build a shore? I'm pretty sure I can build. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can build a house on. or s something where people can live on the water. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Key side house. I thought, hmm. sure. Well, how about this? I'll build a house. Actually, maybe it's in this. I'll just build a wooden house. Looking for... I know there's smaller storage. This is going to bum me out.
All right, Forester's Lodge is almost done. So I'll be able to plant trees and cut trees down. And in fact, this whole area is pretty well full of trees. So I think right now, maybe I'll just do some, I'll do cutting and planting. I'll do both. Um, let's see. Forester, here we go. I'll just assign one. And then, what do I need to build next? Um, I'm gonna get the storage barn. I'm gonna start working on this. Just a little bit at a time. Okay, we're doing okay now. And after this is, after the storage barn is done, I need to make, finish this house. So that when some of these kids get older, I can have a place for them to live and have families. And once this, once this storage um, barn is built, this small barn, I can get rid of this little cart that's just kind of in the way. Get all these trees down. As you can see, I'm sort of making a, like a living, a residential area right here. I mean, we have these businesses here, not businesses, but these, these manufacturing things. Look, there's a fucking deer right there. A whole family of them. Kill it. Kill those deer. I think last time I said, oh, these videos will be 25 minutes long. I feel like you can't get anything done in 25 minutes, at least not me. I'm slow. Um, so we'll see. My health has gone down a little bit. I need to start thinking about getting a an herbalist to create medicine out of herbs and whatnot that are harvest. And that'll help the, the health go up a little bit. And I need to get maybe even a little cemetery soon that helps happiness. But we're still a pretty small operation, so I'm not too worried about that stuff yet. Actually, I also would like... I would like stones to be cleared from the radius of the Forester's Lodge. Actually, a stone and iron. It looks like most of it has been marked for harvesting anyway, but just to make sure. All right, I just got a new adult, so I need to build this house. And it looks like, yeah, we'll, we'll end up with enough wood pretty easily. Um, <laughs> I'm actually gonna put I'm gonna put one more person in the Forester's Lodge just because we're kind of low on logs. I'm not too worried about this barn actually. I'm gonna pause that for a second just so we can get this house knocked out. I might actually want to build two. I'm going to build another house over here. Ooh, ooh, hold on a second. I never noticed this. Log cabin. Wooden house. I'm going to start building log cabins. Instead of just the wooden houses. Um, because my goal was... To use um, non-sustainable materials only for public buildings, but I forgot that 
even like wooden houses requires a little bit of stone. Um, but these these log cabins require the same amount of stone, have a little bit more wood. Well, over double the wood, but that's a sustainable source. But the heat the heat easier. So that'll be really helpful. Um, so yeah, let's let's maybe stick to these. Build one and see what it looks like. All right, get back to work. <coughs> uh, yeah, see, I got another child become an adult. So it's a good thing I'm working on this house. All right, let's prioritize this and this. Okay. Um, let's unpause this. Well, yeah, let's unpause the storage barn. Okay, we're doing we're doing fine on everything now. I just really need to get um I need to get some herbs. And actually, we do have some medicine. Um but I think just when you get an herbalist right off the bat, your health will start to increase. Um it says we ran out of food. Well, maybe I will take a builder away and add them to my gatherer's hut. I'm gonna take one lodger away. Um, add those to my builders. Okay. I want one laborer just to be doing general stuff. Oh, is this done? Nice, nice. Great. So I got two new couples here. Oh, these wood how these log cabins look really good. Oh, why are you hungry? Come on, we have food. We have food. Why are you hungry? There's food right here. Oh my goodness, why are they hungry? Okay, storage barn is done. Um, I guess... Lit uh, oh wow, there is no food in here. Why is this happening? Um, okay, let's get another worker in the gatherer's hut. And in the hunting cabin. So that's maxed out. And let's collect some food. Because apparently... Man, why... What happened to all my food? Okay. Okay, we're, I think we're okay. Um, now. So yeah, it's actually... Uh oh. Whoa. Okay, I think they're just moving everything from here to here. <laughs> it just said my tools are low, but that makes no sense. I think. Uh. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I think it was just because. I was moving stuff from here to here. Hopefully that's it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Whew. That's scary. So how's our production? Whoops. Ooh, getting a lot of reeds, actually. I wonder what else I can make with that. I'm gonna build another house in this little area. And actually, I might, hold on. Yeah, let's build another house here, another log cabin that is. Um, 
And where's a good place to put an herbalist? You're supposed to put it in an old forest. So maybe if I just plop one down here. Because, you know what? I can just go ahead and never cut these trees down. And the forest will continue getting old. Seems logical. Um, let's see. Herbalist. Where's Herbalist? Hmm. Where the heck is Herbalist? It used to be in here. Raw food gathering. Hmm. Um. Oh, hold on. It's probably under health. Yes. Which makes sense. Yeah, so let's put it... Uh, I know the range is so big, but... You know, I can foresee getting rid of all of these trees. Because we need to build... Well, not all of them. But a lot of them. What if I put it, like, right here? I don't know if they'll actually go up on the mountain, but... Eh. Actually, what if I put it right here? I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, let's do that. Not the best place for it, probably, but that's alright. Let's get a road. Ah, I need to start using my shortcuts. F4, F4, and 2. Can't stand not using shortcuts. Um, okay, where is it? I hate it so hard to okay, so it goes it extends out to here. F four R oops F four two. There we go. Okay, F four two. F four two. Oh that works. Dang it. I was going to say, that works perfectly. Perfect is not the right word. Actually, there we go. That does work well. And then I'm going to build another house right here. Or I'll do it here just so it's sort of still close to all the other stuff. And we actually have a lot of logs. Still not doing great on food for some reason. Yo, y'all need to take care of this cart. Um, Okay, we have leather and venison. Okay, fantastic. So maybe because I have it on hard mode, it just doesn't allow me to get as much leather. So let's switch this to hide coat. Um, yeah, cool. Because I think those are a little bit warmer. Oops. 
Yeah, great. Okay, so we're we're getting a ton of venison. Got some leather. And you, maybe it's because I didn't have enough hunters. Again, I'm on hard. I'm on the highest difficulty, so I don't know. Maybe that all has something to do with it. Okay, let's get some more builders so we can get this house done. What else are my builders working on? Why does it say three of six? What else is being built? Um, you're a shoreman. What are my builders working on? Hmm. Oh, oh, that's right. I have a house going over here. That's all right. I, I know I, I've seen other people play and they do very well not very but somewhat different builds in this they just kind of put everything together houses and everything and like I do have a couple houses over here in this wooded area but I like to keep I like to sort of have districts you know residential um, manufacturing etc I, I don't know I like that kind of organization it's not necessary I think but I just kind of like it Got this log cabin done. Let's go back to um, Let's go back to crude shirts. I'm going to save really quick. So I got up to three people in each house. Got one lone person living here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to build houses for a little while, just a little while. I'm actually getting a lot of food. My food limit is five thousand. My storage barn is fifty-seven percent full. Um, let's like make my food limit fifteen hundred for now, um, just so we don't fill up this barn for no good reason. And let's actually increase the fuel limit to 500. And let's increase the tool. No, let's. We don't need to increase the tool limit. There's no reason. Um. I don't know what crude tools. How those differ from iron tools. I'm assuming they're more fragile but take less material to build. I don't know. That's my assumption. Oop, oop, my herbalist is done. All right, let's get a worker here. Herbalist, boom, just one. Okay, now, what to build next? I have a cap on my clothes. I'm actually gonna make that cap 25. Well, I'll make it 30.
Actually, you know, 50 is fine because if my population starts to grow when I'm doing other stuff, I get distracted. And, um, I don't want to stop producing for no reason. Um, okay. So one thing is, I don't want to have to keep... Hmm... Yeah, I don't want to have to keep sending the people who live in this area out into the vast wilderness just to get iron and stone, for that matter. Um, I do have a lot on hand right now, but I might think about... I know this seems a little early for anybody who actually plays this game. This will seem a little early, but I'm going to start thinking about mines. Um... Just because, yeah, I, I want to be on top of that shit. I mean, one of my goals is um, sustainability, you know, without relying on the traders and whatnot. So, never too soon. Let's see. So if we go to resource production, ores and minerals... Hmm. So mines get iron and coal, while quarries get stone. And I can actually build a small quarry. Hmm. I mean, mines are just so freaking big. Yeah, they have to be placed like on a hill or a mountain side. Let's see if we can find a decent place for these. Yeah, I could put it there. I could even... Actually, I could put it here-ish. This is a good spot for it, actually. Um, because it's kind of out of the way. Hmm. I feel like I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but as I said, I mean, I don't want to run out of stuff. Hmm. You know what? Let's build it. Because it takes 48 logs and 68 stones... Yeah, let's do it. And then... Hmm. F4, 2 for a road. Oh, this... I think this goes right to where I built my quarry, more or less. Where is it? Ah, not really. So I need a road, like, right here. That'll work. I can fan up that road later. Um, but I do want to... I do want to build another house. Or at least get some planned out. Let's just get one for now, because I was like, oh, I need to slow down on building houses. So let's just plan this one for now. Let's put it right here. Oh, and actually, while that's getting built, I'm going to plan where I'm going to put my small quarry. Um... <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, so this one just has fewer maximum workers than the regular quarry. It takes the same amount of materials to build. Um, this can be built anywhere, so that's nice. You know, I'd like to kind of put them in the same area. Again, for just the sake of sort of having districts of sorts. Let's fatten this road right now. Ah, shortcuts. Okay, F4, 2. Or not shortcuts, but hotkeys. You know what I mean. Whoops. So the edge of the mine is right there. I'm not super anal about um, urban design, but I'm, eh, I'm I'm anal enough. I need to build, hold on, oh, I'll just slow it down, I need to build some storage, some big, I'm gonna build a big ass stockpile. Five by fifteen. I have four people living in a house. I don't like that. So I'm actually going to prioritize this. Oh, they're building it. Let's, let's still prioritize. This house is done. Um, now... Alright. Alright, this mine is going to start being built now. Beautiful. If you notice, there's like a remove thing, so if there's any trees and stuff in the place where you want to build, they remove all that shit, and then they bring the materials over, and then they start building. Which is why it's good to have a stockpile near where you're doing a big project like that or where you're, where you're going to be harvesting a lot of stuff like here see this yeah actually i might as well start working on this Stockpile's finished. 
mine is almost finished. Alright, mine is done. Let's get a couple miners going. Uh, maybe just two for now. We don't need to go crazy. Actually, let's just have one for now. Yeah, just one. All right. Let's knock this out. Get this quarry built, and then we're gonna be pretty sustainable for quite a while. Because we're, it's a pretty small population town so far. So we won't dry up these quarries and mines for too long. Oh, and yeah, I can choose... Uh, hmm. Hmm. I can choose... To harvest iron or coal. Now, hmm, let's just keep using logs to, to make, um, to make firewood for now, just because it is more sustainable. So let's harvest iron. I want to get rid of the stone pile. These these unitasker stockpiles are dumb. I've decided. Ooh, this looks cool. That's really cool. This is a new one with the mod I'm playing with, Colonial Charter, the small quarry. So I've never seen this. This is very cool. Oh, is it done? It's done, okay. So let's put, let's put one worker here. Um, what is this type of worker called? Is this just another miner? No. Sto uh, wait. Um, stone cutter, okay. Yeah, let's just have one stone cutter. Beautiful. Okay, let's look at our homes. We got one person living here. Okay, three there, three there, three, four, three, three, two, two here. Let's build one more home. I think you can change the style still by pressing F. Yes, you can. Cool. I'll make a different style house. Yeah, cool. Alright, this is starting to look like a town. Now this giant stockpile I made, that is sort of in preparation for the long haul. Because I am going to get a lot of materials out of these two things. Um, so it's good to have a very big stockpile. Um, let's increase our stone limit. Just to, Let's just double it for now. And same for the iron. We'll just double it.
I'm going to increase the tool limit just a little bit. And the medicine limit just a little bit. Well, actually, I'm going to bring that up to 500. My small barn is already 75% full. So I might want to start thinking about... Getting a regular barn, a big old barn. But yeah, it looks like we're doing really well here. Ooh, we've reached our reeds limit. Let's increase that just a little bit. Double it. Um. I feel like this is a good stopping point. And just as I say that, autosave happens. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this is a good pause area. Oh, well, we got a lot of food. Got a decent amount of medicine. Our health is back up. Um, not a lot of logs, but we just built a lot of shit. So that'll get back up. Um, decent amount of fuel. And not worried at all about stones or iron for the time being because we have miners and stone cutters. They are on it. And actually, I want to look at how much medicine this is getting. Oh, this is getting a lot of herbs. I mean, not a lot, but enough for our small operation. I mean, our health went back up almost all the way. I think that heart's a little bit below full. All right, so let's pause here for now. And next time we'll keep expanding. I think um, I'm gonna start, I'll probably build a few more houses in this area in addition to maybe some, some more production, manufacturing type things um, since we are getting a lot of materials in. And I do wanna start planning out where our sort of central market will be, maybe in here. Um, no, I'm not sure yet. But I do know we're going to end up with a trading post going here, on this shore right here. Actually, before we go, I want to try something. There's a flatten tool. I want to see if I can pretty up the shore a little bit. Hold on, let me save first. <laughs> Just in case it looks terrible. Flatten tool. Um, I just kind of want to get rid of this widow's peak. Oh god. What have I done? Uh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see. Oh yeah, that looks terrible. What if... <laughs> oh, that looks so bad. I see now why you have these widow's peaks, because it looks better than this. That's amazing. I can make a big island. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so glad I just saved. I can get, I should get, get rid of this lake, make a giant dam. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. What would happen? Because the trader automatically comes through the big river. They would probably just glitch and just go through this land on their boat. That's awesome. Okay. Let me load <laughs> to make sure I didn't fuck anything up. <sighs> yeah, so next time, do a little planning to see how we're going to expand out to that little lake so we can get a trade post going. And I do need to plan out where my central market's going to be. Um, so that'll sort of dictate where a lot of the things that we're going to need in the future will be built. Um, okay, we're good. This was pre-flattening tool. Great. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day.